Welcome to Unit 2, Video 1, Energy. By the end of this video, you should be able to differentiate between kinetic and potential energy. You should be able to differ differentiate between temperature, heat, and thermal energy. And you should be able to explain how thermal energy is transferred between particles. Energy is a notoriously difficult concept to define. Most textbooks define it as the capacity to do work, but this definition doesn't really mean a whole lot for our, our conversation. Rather than focus on a definition for energy, let's focus on the ways in which energy can be transferred and the ways in which energy can manifest itself to help us better understand this abstract concept. Energy can be transferred three different ways. It can radiate, as energy radiates from the sun to the earth. Radiation does not require direct contact. Notice the sun is not in direct contact with the earth, but we are still able to feel its energy as it radiates from the sun to the earth. Energy can also be transferred via heating, as in a pot on a hot burner. The energy is transferred from the burner to the pot and then to the water via heating. This does require direct contact, unlike radiation. And finally, working. Working is an energy transfer form that we will not talk about in chemistry. Instead, we will focus on heating almost, primary, almost entirely. We will talk a little bit about radiation in a future chapter, but for now our focus is going to be on energy transfer via heating. We often differentiate between kinetic and potential energy to help us understand the ways in which energy manifests itself. Potential energy is energy due to position. Anytime you have a change in position, you will have a change in potential energy. Take for example a roller coaster. A car at the bottom of the roller coaster has a different potential energy than a car at the top of the roller coaster. The position has changed, therefore the potential energy has changed. Kinetic energy is energy due to motion. Anytime you have a change in the speed of motion, you have a change in kinetic energy. Take this runner, for example. As he changes speeds, he is changing his kinetic energy. Thinking about kinetic and potential energy in terms of particles, when particles move towards or away from each other without changing speed, they are changing their potential energy. Notice their position is changing, therefore their potential energy is changing. When particles collide and change speeds, there is a change in kinetic energy. Notice these particles are changing speeds, therefore they are changing their kinetic energy. When we talk about energy, it's often tempting to use the terms temperature, heat, and energy interchangeably. It's important to realize that these terms are not the same thing, so let's define each of them. Temperature is a measure of the random motions of the components of a system. As we just discussed, if temperature measures random motion, what kind of energy is it measuring? It's measuring kinetic energy. So temperature is essentially a measure of the kinetic energy of the particles in a system. Notice it's the average kinetic energy. This average kinetic energy depends on the speed of the molecules only. In any given sample, some molecules will have a very low potential energy, and some molecules will have a very high potential energy. The temperature is a measure of the average of these kinetic energies. So you might imagine that in a colder sample, most particles will have a lower kinetic energy, as opposed to a warmer sample where most particles will have a higher kinetic energy. 
You might want to pause the video here and take a look at this graph as this will become important a little more down the line. Heat, on the other hand, is the flow of energy due to a temperature difference. We mess up the use of heat all the time. We refer to heat as a noun, as a thing. But heat is really a verb. It's the flow of energy. When you have two objects at different temperatures and you put them together, as we've done here, the energy will flow from the hot object to the cold object. This process is called heating. This process depends on the speed of the molecules and the amount of the substance. Finally, there's thermal energy. Thermal energy is the energy contained in a substance. It depends on mass, speed, and type of particles. This is the manifestation of energy that we are going to be dealing with most this year, particularly in the next few chapters. Temperature, heat, and thermal energy, therefore, are not the same thing, though it's easy to mistakenly use them interchangeably. To further drive this point home, consider the fact that temperature and energy aren't even measured with the same units. Energy is measured in joules, abbreviated with a capital J. This is the SI unit for energy, and it's named for James Prescott Joule, who did lots of work with energy. In fact, we can't even really measure directly the energy of a system, but we can measure energy changes. Much more on this later. Temperature, on the other hand, as I'm sure you know, is measured in degrees Celsius, or often in chemistry, in Kelvin. Recall from a previous video that we can convert between Kelvin and degrees Celsius by adding 273 to the Celsius temperature. Turning now to our final objective in this video, let's talk briefly about how thermal energy is transferred. This is something we'll talk much more about in future lessons. Thermal energy is transferred via contact. When two particles collide, energy is transferred from one to the other. You may have seen a device like this before called a Newton's cradle. Notice as one ball hits the others, energy is transferred through each of the balls to the one at the other end, resulting in motion on the balls on either end. This is very similar to how energy is transferred between particles. We'll talk a lot more about this in class. That brings us to the end of our energy video. Let's quickly review our goals. First, we differentiated between kinetic and potential energy, defining kinetic energy as the energy of motion and, the, and potential energy is the energy of position. Then we differentiated between temperature, heat, mm -hmm and thermal energy. We said that temperature is the measure of average kinetic energy of a system, whereas heat is the process of the transfer of energy between a warmer object and a cooler object. And finally, we said that thermal energy was the energy contained in a system due to the motion of the particles. And finally, we explained how thermal energy is transferred between particles. When particles collide, they are able to transfer energy.